guys, today I'm going to be doing a lightweight summer makeup tutorial and this is more of a skin based tutorial more than an eye look because I wanted to keep the eyes and like brow area more natural looking and do a more of a lightweight foundation and skin thing that's perfect for like going to the beach, barbecue that's not going to wear off within like five hours that's going to last for a long time. So I did a combination of different BB creams concealers, bronzers that are all going to last throughout the day which is really great and I just did a natural mascara look so if you guys want to know how to get this makeup look make sure you guys keep watching this video. The first thing I'm going to be doing is just taking my L'Oreal True Match Foundation and a BB cream mixed together and applying it to my face with my Beauty Blender and this just gives you a really dewy finish and doesn't give you a cakey look at all which is perfect for the summertime because you don't want to look cakey you want to look glowy and bronze and it's just really great so I'm just applying this all over my face and then after that I'm just going to be taking my uh, Maybelline Fit Me concealer and applying it underneath my eyes and just blending that out with some concealer And earlier where I said I was setting my concealer with concealer, I meant a beauty sponge because, you know, I can't really set concealer with concealer. But anyways, I'm just taking my Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder and applying that all over my face with a fluffy brush. And then after that, I'm taking my beauty sponge, dipped into the pressed powder, and applying it underneath my eyes to set my concealer. Now I'm just going to be taking my Ola Bronzer by Benefit and applying it to my cheekbones. And this is totally optional for the summertime. If you just want a bronze look, then you can totally do that. But if you don't want it, you know, don't do it at all. But I just thought it was really nice for summer. And it sticks to your face and also lasts all day. So you don't have to worry about smudging at all. And I'm pretty sure you can go in the water with this and, like, it'd still be on. I'm not really sure. I've never really tested bronzer in the water before. But I'm sure it'd probably last. Like, it lasts all day if you're at a barbecue or something. <laughs> and then, anyways, I'm just going to take some blush and apply it to my apples and my cheek and blending that up. And the next thing I'm going to do is just brush out my brows and lightly fill them in. Um, since I dyed my hair again, if you guys haven't noticed, I got more highlights in my hair. And I left my roots out because that's how I wanted it to look. So it's not like I screwed up, but just how I wanted it to look. So I'm lightly just filling them in with a light blonde, or I should say a dark blonde eyeshadow shade. And I'm just brushing them out like I usually do. Nothing really different it's in every single tutorial. And as soon as my brows are done, I'm just going to be taking my eyelash curler and curling my eyelashes and then going to mascara to put mascara on. I, like I said before in the intro, I didn't want anything really big and crazy. I just wanted to apply mascara and be done with it. And I'm just going to be taking my Ulta Curl Up Mascara. And I actually really like this mascara a lot. It gives you a lot of length and volume too. I don't know. I just really like it a lot. I have two Ulta mascaras in this video. I have this one and then the other one. I think it's called Ulta Amped Up Lashes. I'm not really sure exactly. Don't mark me on that. I think that's what it's called. And I'm just dusting this to my lashes. And that right there is the reason why I don't listen to music when I'm doing my makeup because I start singing and then I forget, oh, hey, Courtney, you're doing your makeup. You're like, oh, yeah. So I'm just finishing up my eyes and that is pretty much the finished eye look. Next, I'm going to be taking this baby pink Revlon lip butter and applying it to my lips. And that is the finished makeup look. 
so I hope you guys liked this video and if you guys did make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel as well I am less than a hundred away from 30,000 which is insane because my last video I think I was 500 away and now I'm only a hundred and it's so crazy because uh, like who doesn't want 30,000 subscribers and to know that almost 30,000 people know who I am is crazy so let's just try to get me there. Um, you guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at CJWalker735. And also add me on Snapchat at CJWalker735 as well. And as soon as I get to 30,000 subscribers too, I will be doing a room tour. So I'm going to clean up this mess soon because I'm probably going to film this soon. And I also upload every Sunday or at least try to upload every Sunday. I get busy with work and stuff like that. Summer's actually kind of a busy thing if you think about it. Free time is kind of difficult to find now. But anyways, I'm just going to go and just clean up some stuff and get ready for work, actually, because I have work today. But yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. All I got to do is put my mind to this shit. Cancel out my ex, I put a line through that bitch.